We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Tampa Bay Rays. Rays baseball is next. Ryan Yarbrough gets the call for game one of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season. And I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that. And hopefully, he gets off to a good start. We'll see if that starts in this one today. Batting four. Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch on its way. James is a prolific power hitter, and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. Doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces, there's a lot of pop in that bat. Now a ground ball and a chance for Adamas yeah. is short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they get a man to second here in the top half, but he's stranded there. Now it's the Rays' turn. And that'll bring in Yandy Diaz. Third baseman number two. Yandy. Diaz. In the air out to left. Oh, you, 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 you. James is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first out. Stepping in for the Jays. Now Eddie back. James. Let's he got on top of one Eddie. and was a ground out victim Eddie. last time. From the stretch. Strike one to start the at bat. Bichette stands at second with no outs. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And that one is gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Sixth home run on the season for him as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Ready to take his hacks now again. Back. Eddie James as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. This is in the air out to right. Meadows moving back. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Into the box, Eddie now James. Back. He Let's flew go. out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Yeah. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good. A dive, and he knocks it down. On the recovery Got throw, it. is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. So, next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Come Mike back. Zanino. A couple Look of walks it. for him thus far. No, 3 2 pitch. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Three, three, three. James is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Always nice to get the first game of the series. But even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. Nine to seven the final score in this ball game. The Rays get the win on the heels of four home runs. Jalen Beeks claims the win out of the pen, his first. Nick Anderson earns the save out of the bullpen, the his second. So that's a wrap here tonight. For, for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.
We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Tampa Bay Rays. It'll be fun watching these two go at it. It's next on the show. Brendan McKay, a Pennsylvania-born lefty, gets the ball to start here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? 200 strikeouts on the season last year. That's not an easy thing to do. You definitely consider this guy a strikeout pitcher. And if he brings the same stuff that he had last year into this new season, we could see more than 200 strikeouts that two years cool. in a row. The left fielder. Eddie. Next to bat for James. Toronto, Eddie James, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Has a look, now the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Digging in, Randy Rosarena. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Randy. The one two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. James is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. All right, Coming to the plate to now, Eddie, Eddie James, back. and he could give his guys an early Eddie. lead if he can come through here. Yeah. First pitch on its way. A swing and a ground ball to come third. You're down. You're down. Throw to oh. first in time, and the big inning is avoided. Into the box now, Hunter Renfro. For Tampa Bay. The right fielder, Hunter. In the air out Renfro. to left. James is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Now at the plate, Randy Rosarena. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Oh, and one count, and the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. James is there, and he has it for the out. Standing in, Brandon Lau. He's gone down on strikes twice so already in this one. Number and Dan, eight. when you know you have a chance to hand someone a hat trick for the game, is there any extra motivation to punch him out again? Hey, there's no doubt about that, Matt. Will you have a good hitter like this? And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Rays will settle for just the one. Five innings complete. The Rays. So digging in now, Eddie James, and through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Way to swing the bat. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night Dan now batter Third at the plate Vladimir, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Guerrero Jr. sixth inning four to one is one our score right now, kid. here we go pulled high in the air out to left field O'Grady will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first Digging in to try it again. Kevin Crone comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. On a line, that's a base hit. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that'll bring in Danny Jansen. You can't teach that, Matty. The ability to, for a right-handed hitter to shoot a ball through the 3-4 hole, unmatched. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he now didn't bad. get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right away. And we'll have to leave it there, as this is strike three, and that will... At the plate, Brian O'Grady, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Brian O'Grady. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the. 
So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Eddie James. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the Eddie. inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. lifted the other way down the left field line and the eighth inning begins with a flyout quickly one away striding in Tom Hudson the first baseman Tom Hudson and this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field and it's gone as they add still another. We've seen these guys go deep. So the home crowd will have a pleasant drive home afterwards as their guys have taken the first two of this three game series. A win tomorrow and they can break out the brooms. Tonight's game comes to an end. Five the to final one the final for score. Tonight for the victorious Rays. Five runs, seven hits, no errors. They left seven. MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Tampa Bay Rays. These two should be exciting to watch go at each other and it's all coming up next. Blake Snell gets the ball for the Rays in this one. Dan any thoughts. You know, Matt, he wasn't all that bad in his last one. In a day and age where we don't see a lot of complete games, six full innings in his last one. That and if they can score him a few runs, field. he has a chance to Eddie. win this one here today. Yeah. Hey, keep it going. Stay hot. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High and deep to right center. Center fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll... Stepping into the box, Willie Adamas. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And he popped him up. Bichette into shallow left. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in for his second at bat, Eddie James. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Another one sent foul. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball. And gone. An absolute bomb. So a solo shot here to left center field. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As the Jays get the game's first tally, it's one to nothing. This guy has been a serious thorn in the side of the staff, homering twice in three days. The numbers don't lie. He owns these guys right now. Now at the plate, Eddie James he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. The last at bat, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Stepping in and ready now for another time, shot, now. Eddie James, as the Eddie. switch hitter will take his cuts yeah. left-handed here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. Swing and a hard hit ball yeah, down yeah. the line in right. And this will the find ball. the wall deep in the corner. And they're able to get the ball in quickly, so he'll be held to a single with one away. He just scorched that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. 
They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. The Jays came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Emilio Pagan claims the win out of the pen his first. Josh Taylor closes the door for the save his second. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans, our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Blue Jays, two runs on five hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. For the Rays, 